Okay, we're back in our uh, page, and what I would like to look at here a little bit is uh, quiz security. Uh, we've had some instructors have had some issues with students taking, sending, whatever, the information. I have fake quiz. I put some questions in the fake quiz. So if we go to, maybe go to fake quiz, then we see it's in progress, last review. I probably can do this as a user or as a uh, as a student. It's going to be the same issue. If I do a control C or, or copy any of this stuff, then I should be able to copy the information. The control C is not going to work, but we go down here, let's just copy a few of them. We don't need a whole lot of them. System's a little bit slower in this room than it was where I was using yesterday. Let's copy this and let's just go in, put it in something like Notepad. And a Notepad, and we have Notepad, and then we will paste it, and we have a listing of the questions. Question three, not yet answered. If I had answered it, it would have the answer there. So with no security on this thing, I can do a, there we go, control A, it's just kind of catching up. Control A, we can copy the whole test. Control A, control C, and then we'll go back to Notepad. And paste it, and now I've just taken the whole test with me. This is in a test that has doesn't have any uh, security configurations. And what I mean by that, we'll go into the edit settings. And let's see if we can change this thing. I'm going to expand all of these so that I can see it. Maybe expand all. So I haven't enabled any of the times, and, and so we can go back to the users must submit before time expires. That's up to you. My favorite is automatically submit them when the time's up or I have a time quiz. Then the quiz gets graded. If they have to submit it, they may wind up with a grade of zero, and then you've got to go back and fix it. Question behavior can help you out if you have people looking over each other's shoulder. Shuffle questions. Shuffle within questions, that means it's going to shuffle the answers. Be careful of that one if you've got any of the all of the above uh, questions. Deferred feedback adaptive, we've looked at that up here in the layout. Question order is shuffled randomly or as shown on the screen. A new page, you can show all of the questions on one page, or you can go back to a page for every question, so that if you shuffle the questions and only show one question per page, you've probably eliminated a lot of the shoulder surfing that would go on. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go back to never just, just have everything on one page. But what I'm also going to do down here, each bill attempts on the last, no, no, no. We're going to do some extra restrictions. We can require a password if you want to do that so that Students aren't able to do it from off campus unless you tell them the password or somebody could always send it to them. The other is require a network address. We have each of our classrooms isolated on its own uh, subnet. So what I can do is whatever room I'm in, put the subnet that that room is on so that the students have to be in that room in order to do the, the test, the quiz, whichever I'm doing. The other one down here, show more, and they don't show it to you. Underneath here, browser security. If I go to the drop down, a full pop up with Java security can be enabled on this thing. So what I've done is basically just put the uh, Java security on it. So I can save and display, and then I'm going to become a student and do that because if I go in as the instructor I say, yeah, here it is, but when your students get it, they're going to be in a uh, in a Java pop-up page. Okay, so we can try this out. I need to uh, be a, become a student. So if I go to administration, switch role to, and let's switch the role to a student. And when I become that student, we were using fake quiz one, I think. 
fake quiz one will go in here and open it up. I continue the last attempt. I've done done a little bit of this before, done the attempt. Obviously, when I right-click on it, the functionality is currently disabled, so I can't do that. If I try to click and scroll, I don't get anything selected. If I do Control A, the functionality is currently disabled. If I right-click on it, and the other one you could actually right-click and print, the right-click is disabled in this thing. And you notice at the top, we don't have any navigation uh, menu, so that we can't really go anywhere. By doing that, you've not obviously absolutely prevented users from doing anything because they could always go and, uh, and use a snipping tool or something like that. But you have minimized the or reduced the threat of of cheating a little bit. So the Java uh, window should help in being able to uh, to do those things. And when you go back, we can finish the attempt here. Maybe finish the attempt if it'll let me submit and finish. And I think in the older versions, when you went back and uh, did the review, we got the review here, we have the same issue. We have the same Java. See, I got a great score here, 0 out of 100. So uh, not doing real well as a student. Huh? I can finish the review, continue with the last attempt, because I didn't answer any questions, obviously, and then reattempt the quiz, because I've had this one set up for multiples, and then return to my normal role. When I return to my normal role, back as the instructor. Uh, with that, hopefully that will help with some of your quiz security uh, and, and enable you to uh, feel a little more confident when you use the quiz uh, module in order to give graded exercises to your students. With that, thank you for watching, and I hope this has been useful.